Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group J game between Coke Guy and Mad Jake. Now as you can see they've both got very dark, dull colours here, so we're going to use the button to make them red and blue, very clear. Um, and have a look at the team, so Coke Guy kicking with Undead. He's gone more for this skilling up the ghouls. We've got a block, two block, a wrestle ghoul, a tackle and a guard white, and a guard mummy. And uh, also, if I have a look here, I can tell you that Coke Guy is from Singapore and qualified via Rebel. Mad Jake, on the other hand, is German and qualified via the Season 5 official ladder. Both of them on PC, and uh, Mad Jake has gone for a not very mad build. He's gone for a quite a sensible, efficient German build of uh, three guard biggins, a block biggin, a guard blitzer, and a tackle blitzer. The tackle is a funny one. I'm not super fan of tackle here. Maybe frenzy for a, you know a few more knockdowns. A mighty blow for hurting things when you do knock them down is maybe is what I'd prefer, but uh, no, not bad at all, not bad at all. That the, like one block biggin's all right for like you know when you need to blitz a mummy or whatever, right? So you've got that strength for. So I, I don't hate like some people take two block biggin's. I think maybe one block biggin is all right. Um, yep, and he's got Mister Throw. He's got thirteen players, no apo, and three rerolls. Uh, Coke Guy, of course, has three reels and no apple because he's undead, and that's pretty much the only way they build. There you go. Oh, um. Wait, what's friends with the ref? Isn't that. Oh, that's a uh, better. better better argue the call which is basically nothing and, hello this is this did happen at 7 a.m. yes this game happened at 7 a.m. doing it as replay just to like you know make the smooth out the stream basically in the evening hello or don't I didn't even notice that dub skull by the way I was just not paying attention whatsoever so there you go and um, lovely dub skulls to start the game there had to reroll of course Tries to protect his tackle but doesn't. Maybe he should have, uh, you know, tried to blitz on me. Gets the ball up. Won't she analysis like dish anywhere else, guys? Right. I mean, first turn is just block things, right? Hope you don't roll dub skulls. We're gonna oh, so blitz him, so sort of push him into the mummy. Oh wow. And only get to the the thing is, if you're gonna do that, how did just three D with the mummy anyway, right? He's got mighty blow. Just just bang with a mummy, if that's your plan. And yes, a dub skull is a one in thirty six and a and a triple down is one in twenty seven. But you know you can't you can't just live in fear, can you? You can't just live in fear. So yeah, so now he's going to use this strength four block piece to knock over the mummy. Oh, and try and put a bit of pressure on. Here we go. And he can't he can't blitz with the mummy unless he rushes. So now he could blitz with the mummy. Now he could no. Now he could blitz, and so he wouldn't rush. He can just blitz there, and then he gets the extra assist to one D, and then one D. So, oh, he's not doing that. I'd be wanting to get the mummy in and fight, but it's you know it's reasonable to pick at the edges, right? Problem is, is like this overwhelms these two. Uh, I guess he's just going to uphill this guy, right? He's going to try and dodge. So he's given away the two hits here. We might try to tackle this guy. Yeah, we could tackle him.
Yeah, that's what's happening. Tackle gets the knockdown and the Kaz. Tackle looks incredible. Oh, there's no guard on this mummy, of course. I'm an idiot, thank you very much. Rerolls this, even though it's just a 1 in 9 and it wasn't a turnover. Well, no, 1 in 9 was a turnover. Sorry, this was the guard one. Didn't Doesn't follow because he got the knockdown. If he just got the push, he would have followed to get the guard in, right? For the hit. Yes. This is confusing with all the guards and the blocks everywhere. Sorry, it's going really fast as well, isn't it? No region on the ghoul, never lucky. So we've got some orcs quite far forward. I need to pause it and take stock of the situation. I'm not wrong, not wrong about tackle. At the end of the day, um, th there could be a hit on the ball here, right? Uh, it's tricky though, it's a tricky hit on the ball. So the orcs have come up here. The undead are basically mirroring them. They are down a ghoul, which is uh, not great. Hello, El Dudrino. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. There is no guard on this mummy, so yeah, that, my, my idea was terrible. To uh, get guard in with him. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just, look, this is 7am, so I'm not going to be perfect. Yeah, I've, I struggle with dirty player and tackle and stuff. Yeah, it's not easy. He's getting really pushed forward now, isn't he? I don't like this line of doing nothing. <laughs> I guess the idea is to like run away from the tackle, but is he going to put him into this? No, keep him free. A blockless block. But that frees up this guarder to probably just surge forward. No, I, I hate this. Hate this position, right? No no nobody's coming around the back here. Well uh, maybe this maybe somebody is. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush. I'm not really right. No one's coming around back in the back, so I've just have them two squares further forward. Or maybe even three. He could have come diagonally through here, could have been right far forward. That's what I'd value more to like, you know, punch, punch forward to create the, uh, create the penetration. And the protection as well, right? Because you need people in front of your ball for your cage, so. Burns a reroll to protect his one in nine, so both sides down to one reroll now, after like four turns. There could be some spicy dice rolls in the future. Gets a full power. And he's stunned, of course he rolls a double one, so Mighty Blow wouldn't have done anything, thus proving Jim wrong, because results-based analysis is how Odont goes through life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Now, funny enough, leaving that there, he could have put one across, right? Like, this is technically leaving this open. If, uh, if this is a POW here, then we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, right? So could left, this, could have, this could have absolutely left the 1D on. If this guy just won across, there's nothing happening. Ah, so I guess what he's thinking is uphill him for a POW and uphill in. No, oh, there's still, there'd still be a screen with these two, right? So yeah, this guy definitely, this was a mistake. This guy had to go one to the right here. And honestly, like, this has been, defense has been such basically disaster for the undead. 
I don't hate going for the 1D ball sack here. But I guess you've got time to maybe get like a two turn score. So there is something to be said for just trying to crash back as much as possible rather than getting this 1D. Because you know, you've got a good chance of getting your ghoul surfed afterwards and also not getting the ball or any recovery whatsoever. So, you know, maybe, maybe the one day on the ball is stupid. Maybe that's not a mistake, right? Then may maybe that's bait. Maybe he's baiting the one day on the ball. So, the thing is, oh wow, the last reroll gone. Thing is, I don't really believe in like baiting a, a bad ball sack because it's so easy to go wrong, right? You could bait this. You could get one D powered. It could scatter there, scatter there, scatter out. And then a ghoul gets it and he's away and he's fully screened and you just lose, right? So, I don't believe in any any baiting or leaving a ball sack on or showing a bit of leg, all this kind of thing that Dio says and preaches I don't believe in at all. Um, I feel like it's just best to shut down these kind of plays. <laughs> You're welcome, Odo. <laughs> Yeah, he's just got to stand up here, isn't he? So this, 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 was, this was a good turn from Court Guy to get his mummies, both his mummies on vault again. And, you know, leave this in a three on three. Where he can dodge him out next turn. A lovely stun. That's guard, so he gets this 2D tackle. Dub skulls, bad decision. Should have just rolled a pow. Tackle gets him that knockdown into a stun. We can get the 1D here, can't we? Again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, rush. And it could go in the crowd as well, so I think you have to go for this. The problem is it's a 4 without... It's a 4 with a reroll, then a 4 without a reroll. And then a couple of rushes. No, he's not going for it. I think he probably should have gone for that. Because you're not, you're not, you're not doing anything, right? You, you, your opponent's out of rerolls, and now you can't even try to break his stall. That was a four-four, four-four-two, to get a one D on the ball. And if you pow, it it could have been in the crowd. So I think. I, th I get that he doesn't want to risk the, the ghoul dying and stuff, but I think he should have. Now I can use this strength four blocker again to do the blitz, which is, it is very much quite handy, isn't it, having this, uh, having this block big one. Dead, dead, dead. Oh my god. Huge regen roll. He makes it. So the game is not over. Whew. Whew. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, is it a dicing? No, not really, no. I think I think Mad Jake's played quite well. I don't think um Coke Guy has maximized his mummies as well as he could have. And uh he could have also you know, he could have gone for desperation plays in the ball that he didn't try. Not that that was wrong, you know, again it might have been right not to do those because they were low odds, but you know. After everything else failed, he didn't give himself the chance to get lucky. In terms of defending the drive. He didn't play badly or anything, just... Uh, just... No, he got, it, he got his ghoul blitz by tackle. Five plus argue the call fails. And... Uh, Sent off for the one foul he's done. He's a little bit unlucky. Well, not a dicey. 
Oh no, he wasn't. It was brutal deluxe. It was uh, Mad Jake had won the Friends of the Rush. That was a six plus. That was a six plus. Uh, argue the call. It was the Orcs that had got the Friends of the Rush. Errata, errata. My kick could go for a move seven one turn here, but probably that's just a three dice bang with mighty blows. No, maybe not. No, because he's got thirteen players. So no, what's definitely best is to try the movement 7-1 turn. <laughs> errata, errata. Um, yeah, no, it's definitely best just to um, just to go for the 1 turn, right? No matter how difficult it is. Just got to try. Unless you remove all three of these, you're not making a difference to his team. And chances are you don't remove all three. Hello, Wotan. Gets the knockdown. He could get a skeleton foul, but without rear, yeah, without moving two, there's no point in fouling the third. So still eleven, but down a goo. And still eleven for the orcs as well. The kind of standard anti frenzy setup. I call this the anti frenzy setup when I did it. We we could have a better name for it. Um it's kind of like the strong setup, isn't it? It's just you, you have these strength four you have your strength four guys here on the edges and it's hard to blitz them. I mean, obviously you can blitz them with strength five. But like if there's no strength five, these kind of corners are pretty hard to attack with guard and stuff protecting protecting the corners and then this guy's kind of protected by these two as well. So you do end up with like pretty pretty resilient to getting blitz like to get assists in you've got to get somebody blocked back and stuff and then if it's one square forward it, it defends against frenzy as well so i do quite like this it's a pretty standard setup that a lot of people use for kind of bashy teams um in math style online i don't know if they use it that much in tabletop but certainly i've noticed it in super league lots of us using that setup Fails to pick up, doesn't re-roll, doesn't go out of bounds. So what 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 uh, Coke guy could have done here? Because you know that you can fail this pickup, right? But also, you're right at it, right? Because it was a high kick. So if you pick it up, you're up here behind the screen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're here. So you, so you could position the screen, like, say there and there so that you've got it more where you want it you could move this guy up and then make the screen with the the ghoul and you could kind of have like you could even move him up and the ghoul up and have kind of cover against this side but not that side but then the mummy's holding that side so there's things you could do to limit this guy getting blitzed and men coming down this side which you don't really want and sure looks like it's happening Hmm. What's weird about this is you could have put the tackler there and made it three dice, right? <laughs> that was kind of weird to uh, have these two and then not make it three dice when that was a, a perfectly fine square for him to stand. I think this is fine too. Wait, what are you... No, that's not result-based analysis. He he had two assists already, and didn't put a third in. Which is weird, isn't it? Like that's just weird to have two assists. Like if these two are the best squares for your men, why not maybe put this guy one back if you don't want to put that guy over there, and then make it a three D. Like three dice are better than two dice. I would say that whether he rolled this power or not, especially as a Skellington. So you really want to knock him over with him being a Skellington. Oh wow. So he completely doesn't care about these few coming down this side. Blitz is the other side. Oh, 
going to go back in the end zone. No, he's going forward. Wow. It's ballsy. It's ballsy. I'd have gone back in the end zone if I, <laughs> if I was going to blitz over that side. So he's getting really spread out now, isn't he? Which... I don't know. Can't be good. Mummy goes in. Like, Mummy on two here is quite a good trade. So he's got some good things going on up here and around here, but this side has completely collapsed. In ladder, always block on the big ones, but yeah, with with uh, with res, it's different, right? Because it's just about it's just about battling for the win at any cost, whereas ladder isn't about battling for the win at any cost. It's about skilling your men up. <laughs> I never knew Brutal Deluxe was a great 90s game at all. I, I, I only knew it as the speedball team. Makes the rush. Puts him in that way to stop him going up this side where he's a bit stronger. So I like that, I like that square. From Mad Jake. Gets the knockdown. Is he going to rush here? Three, four, five, six, seven. Rush. One rush. A dodge and a rush will get him into a cage. Oh no, he's just going to cage deeper. He's just going to block. Well, this is a bit risky. Yeah, speedball too, yeah. Did I just say speedball? Um, so now he's down to one reroll already. Pretty rough. I loved Speedball too. I actually loved it. <laughs> On the Commodore 64. I, was, I wasn't an Amiga person at that point. Or ever, any point actually. But it, was, it looked a lot better on the Amiga, didn't it? But I loved the Commodore 64 version. Like, even though it was like objectively worse, it just seemed cool. I don't know why. It's weird, right? I could show you a screenshot comparison. I don't know. Like, it's just, it just looks better to me, even though it's objectively worse. That doesn't sound make any sense, does it? But it, it does to me. And, uh, yeah, I remember that there was a little booklet that uh, you know had a bit of the history of it and stuff. It was great. And I think I had Speedball 2 before I had uh, Blood Bowl. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe it was about the same time. Maybe it was about the same time. There's a few people who like Speedball 2 and Blood Bowl. It's a similar kind of thing, isn't it? Ooh, doesn't get the knockdown. I like taking him with the wrestle, of course, then the boat down frees up the second ghoul. This has been a disaster of a drive, by the way. Turn 12. It's still not getting anywhere. Maybe this should have been a blitz. Honestly, maybe that should have been a blitz to get him up the field afterwards. Oh! And he blitzes with him and doesn't re-roll it. So yeah, I think what I liked... Not results-based analysis was blitz there one two three four five six right, and then you can make this block and then move the ball, you know, before you fail anything. Um, but actually, that stun means that the ball is totally safe. I guess that's why he hit the ball down. Do you know what? I've never played Mutant League football, and I know it was—I uh, know it was massive, wasn't it? It was massive in uh, probably just in the states. It might not have been so massive in England, but I 
I've not played Dread Ball. Funnily enough, what, uh, funnily enough, you know, with having a blood ball here and, uh, you know, like exactly like the board game, um, I always thought if they had made a uh, real time. Oh, do you know what? He could have surfed him, couldn't he? I think I would have gone for the surf there. Bit greedy, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So you can go seven there and block him. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then rush and surf him. And then just move him up. One, two, three, rush, rush. So you can't get hit. Maybe he's even rushed with him. So maybe, maybe actually to put the assist in with him, rush to put the assist in with him, and then bring him back to kind of cover. And then uh, block and then surf like with with him maybe because you've got to do something right you it's this is desperate turn 13 you have to get forward and this is the only place to go forward in so i feel like getting the surf helps out a lot so i would have definitely gone for that um See, anyway, so seeing as this is a Blood Bowl on the, on the PC, I always thought, you know, Backbreaker, if you know Backbreaker, that was a game that came out in 2003 or something. Oh, he's got to use his last reroll here. The mummies, oh my goodness, the mummies have had some disastrous dice. And to be fair, in, in the Orc match, it's hard for them to get three dice, right? Because you don't have as much guard. They've got guard, and they've got strength four. It's actually quite difficult to get three dice. Mummy hits, teeing off. Um... So yeah, you're going to have to make a bunch of two dice blocks with mummies, and if you fail them, well, it's a bit of a dicing, isn't it? It's, it depends, obviously, what you call a dicing. Dicing can be a bit of a strong word. I, you know, I mean, I don't think there's any doubt that Mad Jake has had the better of the dice, but whether that's enough to call it a dicing, I guess, is all very subjective, isn't it? Wow, double rush there. I guess he's going to try and run around for the one day on the ball then, eh? Kaz. <laughs> Lovely. Who needs tackle? Should have moved those moves before, right? Okay, no, he's, oh, he's double rushing to get the 2D. Oh, wow. Okay, I mean, this is pretty strong, isn't it? All the dice this turn from Magic. He's got three re-rolls, so it was totally fine to do all of these rolls. And kills him. Dead, dead, dead. By the way, two players without tackle made two cars on ghouls. So, now we can call it a dicing. Now we can call it a dicing. There you go. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is... Don't say it's over, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty flipping over, isn't it? I mean, that wasn't a blitz. Right, that should just be a blitz, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Like, these kind of plays are, like, a bit stupid, but on the other hand, it's literally the only way things are getting done, right? So, I feel like you just have to go for these stupid plays at these points in times. I thought he'd put him in there to hit the uh, goo with tackle, to be honest. But the first thing he does is is dodge and fail and be removed. Wow, his goos really have been made out of paper. Three cast, one KO'd. Absolutely savage. Not one of the ghouls regened. Never lucky. Maybe before the tournament ends, we'll see it. We'll see a ghoul regen <laughs> and a wraith TD. We can but hope. 
This has been a this has been a bit of a dicing guy now, yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean Court guy had definitely had the worst of the dice. He had definitely had the worst of the dice. And now it's got to dicing. We've definitely gone by my tally into dicing territory. Um But you know, if, if funny isn't it, calling things a dicing is entirely subjective, right? For example, um, you know, Artemis could think 20% of games are dicings. Chunter could think 10% are. Um, Devo could think 5% are. I could think 1% are, right? So, like, it's entirely subjective what your, what your definition of a dicing is, right? If it's in the top, if, you know, so, like, it's just entirely subjective. Entirely subjective. You could think you could think fifty percent of dicings, like you know. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a comment on the players' punt. I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, you know, what percentile, lower percentile, you term as a dicing one way or the other, right? Like, and you could just think, you could think one in five games of dicing. You could think one in twenty. You could think one hundred is a dicing. Like, it's entirely, it's entirely subjective where you set the bar for whether it's a dicing or not, right? So, for some people this might have met the criteria for dicing a few turns ago, but for me it was the double the double ghoul death <laughs> made it beyond a doubt, but there was already loads of one in nines from mummies, right? And, uh, yeah, but I mean, that was, by the end of it, I'm putting this in dicing territory, but there you go. And, uh, so there you go. Commiserations, court guy. Congratulations, Magic. Well, well played. You know, like, doesn't take anything away from Magic, right? I did think he did uh, he did the right things. And uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.